What's up, everyone? Welcome to the episode of The Dive. Today, we're going to be answering one of the biggest questions you guys have asked us. How and why did we choose 0.5 millimeters for the thickness of our wetsuit line board shorts? Now, to answer this, I'm going to break it down into two different questions. One, why are there different types and thicknesses of wetsuits? And two, how do you read those thicknesses for your water sport and the water that you're going to be in? So let's dive in today. So first, we know that depending on your water sport, whether it's surfing or kiting, you have to choose the right thickness and right wetsuit for that sport, but also you need to consider the water temperature. So we operate in warmer waters. Generally, 65 to 75 degree temperatures or those tropical climates is perfect for a thinner neoprene, typically around 0.5 to a 2-1 wetsuit. Now, our drifties, so our wetsuit line board shorts, consist of, consist of a 0.5 millimeter, 360 degrees around your thigh and your half hip area. That's why it's represented as just 0.5 millimeters. Now, on the flip side, a 2-1 wetsuit where this is actually a two one top is the, is the first number represents the thickness of the torso and the second number represents the extremities. So the thickness here versus the thickness here. Now that's for mobility purposes. For us, we found that a 0.5 millimeter is the perfect thickness. We tested between a 0.2 and a one millimeter. We found that this holds the same properties of warmth and comfort while offering more mobility and flexibility that way you'd find in a thicker wetsuit. It allows you to take the chill off, keep you warm and comfortable, and will keep the areas warm that needs to be kept warm without overheating. Now on the flip side, in San Diego today, the water temperatures are 59 degrees. And where I grew up surfing in Rhode Island and Maine, the water temps today there are around 39 degrees. So it's obvious that wa colder water demands thicker wet wetsuits. So think like a 3-2 and a 5-4, for something that's 52 degrees, 63 degrees, and then 40 to 40 degrees and under, generally a 5.4 or a 6.5. So this is my 3.2 Monero suit that I wear all year round when I'm not wearing my drifties. So today when I went surfing, I was wearing this. Now something like this may hit, inhibit a little bit of the mobility that I would normally get with a drifties and a top because I like that flexibility. But obviously this offers a little bit more warmth in areas where I need it the most for those thicker, th thicker areas. So your torso and other extremities, obviously the legs where drifties don't provide that. Now, for example, in that colder, colder water that our athlete Will, for example, rocks, Will is in, uh, I think, Massachusetts today. And as you can see, it's a little chilly there. Now, he'll rock something that is a little thick, thicker, as I said. This is right here is um, a 5.4. So this right here, plus something with boots, or even a hood can provide that extra warmth that he's looking for in those colder water temps. So just remember, if it's one number, that is that consistency of thickness all the way around the neoprene. So again, our drifties are a 0.5 millimeter thickness all the way around because we felt that that actually is a great temperature or a great thickness for the temperatures of water that you should be in when wearing drifties. Then when you have two numbers, that first number, represents that torso area and that second number represents your extremities now sometimes there's a third number and that'll generally be mostly for the legs but that's actually depend on your sport it can be for triathlons and other sports that require a different thickness for the leg versus your arm so remember first number is torso second number is extremities if there's one number like drifties it's 0 0.5 thanks for tuning in for the, this episode of the dive i hope you learned something I'll see you guys out in the water. Enjoy that swell here in SoCal.